classics. Well, it's down in the basement, is then. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's kind. Hi there. Hi. Hey then. Uh, two bottles of Bira Moretti, please. Still got it, Lloyd. Look at that. <laughs> Cheers, Lloydie. Cheers. Down the hatch. Cheers. That's lovely. That's the first beer I've sipped in a cricketer's for 35 years. Yes, brings back memories, doesn't it? It does, it does. First places I remember um, coming for a pint yeah. on the green. I know, it felt so grown summer. up, didn't it? Yeah. Can you remember the, the way the week went? It was the same routine. The I, weekly mm, timetable, wasn't yeah. it? Because we had a certain meal on a Monday, a certain meal on a Tuesday. So, mm. I mean, there were things we couldn't eat when we were kids, but we, we would never dare to be fussy in the way that our kids are. There was stuff that I really didn't like at you all. You it? Oh, yes. I mean, even to the point of, I mean, the, all due respect to Mum, but her sausages in toad in the hole, I absolutely hated it. I hated oh it. Oh, my God, it was uh, disgusting. I when I used to hear it was on the menu, I, my heart sung every time. I'm pretty sure Saturdays was egg and chips. Yeah, my favourite. My favourite too. The food was so very regimented, but six boys, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that that you know, has any sort of, you know, resonated in you know, your work at the restaurants? It, it has to have in, in some way or another. Um, I was, yeah, I was really interested in food. As soon as I left home, you know, do my own shopping and do my own cooking and mm. almost overnight have this independence and this ability to do the things that I wanted to do, eat the things that I wanted to eat yeah. when I wanted to eat them. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a complete revelation. Yeah. I think that's probably what led to a career in it. I was quite lucky in a way because I had my own room, but you shared a room with Greg and I just seem to remember you fighting <laughs> all the time. You, did you fight all the time or was it just my imagination? I don't know if you remember, I mean, I was a pretty annoying Yes, child. I do remember, Lloyd. <laughs> and uh, always sort of getting in people's business, whether yeah. they liked it or not. Probably still do that to this day. So my memory of you is, is that I used to be so intrigued coming to your bedroom because it was so different than anything else I'd ever seen before. Your drawings and illustrations, your cassettes were all very neatly done with, you know, David Bowie or... What are you or, saying, Lloyd? You're saying I'm a nerd? <laughs> maybe. You used to actually line us up for IQ tests. I don't know if you remember that. Because obviously we used to come in, we go into your room as in you were the teacher, yeah. and we'd do an IQ test and then leave the room, yeah. and then you used to make us wait for the results. <laughs> uh, oh how mad? Yeah, how mad is that? Can I can I take this opportunity now to officially apologise for that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was probably annoyed I didn't get higher. <laughs> You started your business in 2002. And I remember at the time thinking how proud I was of you and how fantastic it was that you know, you'd, you'd established such a, such a successful business so quickly. And you, know, you doing that spurred me on to do it four or five years later. I didn't have that vision and, and you mm -hmm. did. And you, know, you inspired me. I can't remember, I don't know whether you can, the last time we came out together, just the two of us. No, I, I can't. So I'm not as adults anyway no. that, we, uh, that we did it. Well, cheers to that. We should do it more often. Yeah, we should.